The first stroke you can utilize when practicing and preparing for assessment selection would be the brush stroke. Now with the brush stroke, it's a lot more dynamic. Um, there's a lot more moving parts versus any other stroke like the side stroke. When doing this stroke, it's not a free breathing movement. Unlike the side stroke, you'll actually put your face in the water and it'll be a kick, pull, breathe, kick, pull, breathe, that method all the way through. When doing this stroke, a lot of people will struggle with different aspects like their legs. They won't be kicking as hard as they should be. I mean, your legs are your primary propulsion. That's your momentum. That's, that's where you get all your power from with this stroke. A common misconception is people try to utilize their arms. In doing that, having camis and everything else in the water, simply pulling with your arms all the way down causes your shoulders to burn out a lot more. This will cause you to become a lot more exhausted over a shorter period of time. This stroke is designed for efficiency. It's designed to help you go a long distance in the water at a moderate to fast speed without burning yourself out. A lot of things we see with the stroke that people do wrong is, one, they won't put their face down in the water when they're not coming up for air, when they're not breathing. So when they're in your glide phase, you're completely planed out, your arms in front of you, your face should be in the water. What happens when you don't do that and you look, you try to look at where you're going, you're looking at the other end of the pool, that causes you to drop your hips in the water. That creates more drag because now you're pulling your legs behind you versus being streamlined. Another big thing is guys will pull all the way down with their arms. This causes them to burn out after 100, 200 meters. With your arms, you're simply pulling down to your chest and then you're collapsing back in and looking back down at the palms of your hands. The reason you pull with your arms only to your chest is so you can just get a breath of air. It's simply just to bring your head up to get a breath of air and then put your face back in the water. All your power comes from your kick, that's all your momentum, and your legs are going to carry you a lot farther than your shoulders or your lats will. All right, a common problem that we see with the breaststroke is people keeping their knees together when executing the kick. They'll bring their legs out too wide, they're using too much power, and they're exhausting themselves after a couple hundred meters. Um, something you can do is take the resistance bands just above the knee a couple inches, put it around both legs, and then in the water on your back, just simply kick using from your knees down the lower part of your legs. This will help build that muscle memory in the water so when you actually execute the stroke in whole, it'll be exactly what you're looking for. Uh, the stretch that we utilize on the side of the pool is laying on your back, spreading your legs, but putting your knees together, and then keeping your feet out as much as possible. You're gonna feel this all through your legs and your back, and this is just to help keep that form in the water when utilizing this kick so it's, it's not as strenuous on your body, on your lower body. Um, and it just helps with that muscle memory when in the water and actually executing the kick.